instead of percussion instruments, I'm going to use double bass, which is also called upright, to create timpani sound for today. The example music, Beethoven Symphony Number no. Five, has one section for timpani tremolo, so I'm going to start from doing tremolo. To do tremolo, tap on appreciator, turn on wrong note order as played, and note rate 32 second. With the first few tests, it sounds odd, so I've decided to set the settings of the octave in arpeggiator. This time I do two octave range instead. After the change of the setting, it appears to be the right sound for tremolo. Now I can start writing the notes. Here it's how it sounds like with one tremolo, while the other one is the original setting. Both of them are the same notes. In the track of tremolo, I'm going to add the reverb, bring up the bass, and bring down the treble to hear how it sounds like. The other track the same, with the bass up and treble down. Following up on the other track. Here I deleted some notes with the track of tremolo. Here it is how it sounds like after deleting some notes. And I also switched the reverb setting from default to large hall. Now let's compare the timpani that I created in GarageBand iOS to the Logic Pro one. So here's another track for timpani with different melodies. Again here I bring up the bass and the reverb and bring down the treble. Seems there's too much reverb, so I make it in the middle. And here I've decided to add the string sustain with one octave lower. Bring up the bass and down the treble. Play around with the EQ on the string sustain track until you find the sound that you're looking for. Here's how it sounds like together with the other upright. After switching around with the EQ and the volume, and adding one more track of the upright and string sustain, this is how it sounds like. The final step, adding one more string sustain and adjust the volume.
Finally, let's compare how the timpani sound like in GarageBand iOS and in Logic Pro without instruments.